Hello everyone and welcome back here to Canning Farms and in today's video we're going to find out which of the quads I went for so I'm just waiting on Kevin from Lambert's there to arrive and uh, we'll have a closer look at the quad when it arrives. <laughs> So the surprise is over and I went for the Yamaha Grizzly. So Kevin's here so he is just delivering it so he's flat out these days delivering quads. <laughs> so uh, so we get it unloaded now and uh, we'll have a close look at it then. Kevin is just going to go through the bike here. We'll just put it on the shed because it's a bit rain. It's raining here a bit, so uh, Kevin's just going to go through the bike with me and show me. So yeah. So uh, your ignition is down here, and you have a spare key there, so you okay. can take that off. Just general driving of the bike. Then you have your same as the bicycle. So your front brake, back brake, then you have a foot back brake down here, and then your handbrake is down here at park. Mm, you have your high and low box, neutral, reverse. You just select it, and your rev and go here. Um, your green button is your start button. So you can start it in either neutral or in park, or you can start it in gear if you put your foot on the brake with that button. Yeah. Um, this kill switch here is very important, so the, so the bike won't run unless that's at the run and arrow to the right. Perfect. So just be aware of it, you might hit that by accident to get an arrow off the bike. And then wondering why it's not there. Yeah, yeah. Um, if your lights, heads and dibs, your horn, your winch, I'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. Um, now you have your two and four wheel drive this side here, so yeah. it's in two wheel drive now, Yeah. four wheel drive, and if you get badly stuck you have diff lock. And that just locks all the wheels together? Diff lock is true four wheel drive, okay. yeah. yeah. And just make sure uh, that the bike is stopped when you're changing that, just just easier on it. Yeah. And there's a, there's a button here override that goes along with diff lock, so look, the chances are you might never have to use diff lock, but if you do, it's, it's just to override a restrictor. Okay. Um, it's almost just to let the bike know that it's that it's in diff lock. Um, so you, no need to worry about that unless... Unless you're in trouble. Unless you're in diff lock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just in the winch then you can... It's 15 metres long, so you can freewheel, freewheel it out. Well that's handy because I was wondering that alright. I was like, do you have to hold the button? No, no, no. And then you can engage it again. And then you have in and out. You have in and out on the handle rail. That's very good. That's very good. Yeah, I don't have it too far either. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's three storage boxes, one, two, and some third one there at the back. Yeah. Um, if you were to get yourself a jerry can for the petrol. Yeah. Because the common problem we see there is lads come up with the tins and bottles and mixing stuff there from what's coming out of a lawnmower or, or a chainsaw. chainsaw or something. So if you were to get a jerry can and keep it for the bike only yeah. and get your petrol from a, a busy filling station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, kind of keep, as you said, keep it fresh. Keep it fresh, yeah. 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 Um, and just then for maintenance then, there's two things to keep an eye on. You have your dipstick in here. Perfect, yeah. Right, I'll just dip it there and while we're at it. Have it on level ground, we've this checked over. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah have it on level ground. Stuff. Yeah. The other thing then is coolant. So you see that tank in there? It's just the expansion tank. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. It's just that one there. Uh, what sort of oil goes into it, Kevin? 10W40. 10W40. But it's a, it's a MA2 spec. It's a okay, special oil for them. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, we, we have all that there if, if it needs to be sent yeah. out by courier. Okay. And how long do I... I don't have to worry about serving this, this for a while now, or how we, many hours? Or? Yeah, so we do, say, 60 hours for the first service. Yeah. And after that, then every 100 hours. It'll record all. Um, so you have your mileage. Uh, I'll set the clock now in a yeah. second, but you have your hours. 
It was only there, you can record. Only. You can record this as here, trip A and trip B. Um, you can count down there for service and. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just set the time on that, no, but it, just, if you just keep an eye on it, 60 hours and yeah. then every 100 or 120 would be, be okay. Air filter there and your small little service oh, spanners here. Um, yeah, you're right. They're usually under the seat. But <laughs> on, the, on the new Yamaha, the new Yamaha is there. There, that's it there. Oh, lovely, perfect. Get on. That's perfect, yeah. lovely. Yes, sir. Just when you're starting it, um, you'll hear the fuel pump priming. Let it, let so it prime. So just let it, let it, we'll say for the cold weather there, you know, just let it. It's the it. same in a diesel car, we have the coil on, just let it heat like up. Heater, just two seconds. Yeah. yeah, people are mad for just hogging into them. Yeah, and giving it the throttle. If you let it do its own thing, Yeah. two seconds and on the button. Lovely so. Well, thanks Kevin for that. Yeah, I think that's everything. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Gentlemen, yeah. thank you very nice, much. Thanks. Cheers, thank you. Obviously, I went for the Yamaha Grizzly. Uh, it's been a few days now I've had it, and uh, one point I want to say was it was a flip of the coin between this and the Suzuki 750 uh, King Quad. Uh, the Hondas never came into it, to be honest with you. After I rode them, kind of had me head about a Honda, but. <sighs> from once I rolled them, no, it never came in. Um, the Grizzly, I went for this two-tone, the grey, and the kind of like, it's like a highlighter, yellow sort of colour. A lot of people aren't gonna like that, but in, in real life, it does, it kind of looks nice. And as well, I was thinking, if you're ever on the road, look, you're going to be spotted. Someone's gonna see you from a mile off, let's be honest. Um, the reason why I went for this over the Suzuki was just small things like, um the bull bar is built in you have a winch in the price there's led lights you have a thicker seat more comfortable you have a few more storage areas around it but like i said it was just a flip of the coin between the two of them uh, i also went for this 7 by 4 ivor williams trailer and this is really handy um it's built into the package or whatever you do with lambert's but I've just found it awful handy for moving feeders and just bits and pieces and look it's always handy just to have a car trailer around so um I know it's only a single axle but do you know like it's real sturdy everything these mesh sides come off um so I'll probably take them off eventually but uh, I just have a job I want to do beforehand so that'll be in the next video um but like that trailer is really easy just pull up she just pulls off and then just stick her back on is on no bother um i'll have to put some sort of connection in here for the lights uh, you can buy connections that just hook in like into the plugs under the seat and when you're using the trailer down on the road just for light um, and then as well most importantly i invested in a motorbike helmet quad is an absolutely indispensable piece of equipment on a farm when you get used to it but what people get is they are unbelievably dangerous if you're not careful on them <sighs> quads are fine and straight lines but what a lot of people do is a quick turn and she'll dig in and she'll flip or go up a hill they shouldn't be going up and down on we had an awful bad accident years ago off of me and my dad off a quad uh, done serious damage to the both of us um, kind of lucky enough to be around after it so we kind of know how dangerous it is and i can tell you one thing my mother is not happy that i have a quad around the place again but if you have manners on them and everything they're fine uh, but you just really 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 need to stress and anybody getting them or anybody who's getting on someone else's quad or someone knocking around you have to be seriously 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 careful on them like i said they're a tool to be used in the farm and yes we will hammer this around the place in and we'll have a go on it now and we'll i'll take you out and we'll see what it can do and everything but in the back of your head you have to have just respect for them really do you know so but that's it anyway so what we'll do now is just load up a bit of meal into the trailer uh, we we'll go feed the calves and then what we'll do is we'll take the trailer off and we we'll go for a bit of a rip on it
So it's time to go out to the field and see what this can do. It, everybody the new bit of equipment has arrived and as you can see it's a very capable bit of kit um, I'll show you more over the next couple of videos we'll use the winch a bit and um, show it a bit more but uh, just let it take it for a bit of a rip and show you what it can do so I'm very happy with it now so what we have now is how many hours do we have on it now uh, there's what six seven hours on it now so we've done a little bit on it and uh, very very happy so I just want to say thanks to Kevin and Noel Lambert uh, for obviously doing the deal and that and showing me all the different quads. Um, you see the last video if you haven't seen that. And then I just want to say thanks to everyone out there for all the support and liking and subscribing the videos. We just went over 3,000 subscribers and like, look, this is just a hobby for me and I can't believe we got there. So um, I just want to say thanks to everybody and um, I hope you enjoy the videos and keep watching. And sure there's plenty more to come, so we'll see you in the next one.